Aging Part 7. Now, let's add some other displaying information that would be useful. Let's come down here. Let's see. Underneath showing, actually copy showing, change the class name to total. This will be the total rows found. That would be pretty useful to know, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so come out to your jQuery. Let's comment here so we know what this is. Display total items. Now, if someone comes to the page, let's say after closing their Firefox and then turning it back on, we don't want it to say you know, results null, we want to say results zero. So this is how I like to take care of that. If items equals null, then just say items equals zero. Pretty easy. Now let's actually display it. Total, that's what we call our div class, remember? dot html items plus total. Let's see if that worked. 13 total. Let's see 1. 24 total. 0 should be 25 total. See this is working out real nice. Let's let's fix these page links because you can see when we click our next and previous buttons they don't update the href feature. In fact, it's kind of fucking, fucking broken or something. Let's take care of this right now. Come back here. Let's add some spaces. How can we forget that? Space is Okay, so that's spaces. Now come up to your next button. So now, let's do this. Links, remember this is specifying the current link, plus page, tribute. We're basically doing what we did down here. Right here, remember? copy this. Now instead of attributes, remove attribute, remove href. Okay, now it's the same thing down here in the same order as well. Save it. Let's check. Well, that looks better. Okay, and it ups updates. And it works fine. Okay, cool. It's coming along real neat, guys. It's coming along real neat. Good job.